Hey Daniel, how you going? Yeah, Welcome home. Doing well. Dane, good to see you mate. See ya. Yeah. Welcome home. Yeah. Yeah. Been a while. Yeah, it's been a very long time. Yeah, well this is where it all started, didn't it? I first started playing uh, in 2001, um, about halfway through the year actually. And loved it and um, went on to play the year out with the team. Yeah, I was four when I started here, my first game, so I was fortunately enough to uh, bring up 250 games. I think it was about the fifth or sixth last round of the season, under 16, so uh, I don't know who the game's record holder is here, but... Uh, you'd go close. I'd, hopefully I'd be close to that, yeah. 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 We both went to Benalla State High School just around the corner, oh, yeah. so it was only a short walk down here to, to have a kick of football. And um, I think I always remember the old change rooms where there was holes in the door so you could see what the opposition <laughs> were doing and yeah. hearing what their plan was before the games. <laughs> Probably getting to this pocket here before training and um, seeing how many times you can kick goals. And, and that was probably uh, yeah, the greatest thing about coming to training early is you got to kick more goals from the pocket. So that's the biggest oh. highlight that I remember. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Uh, during your time here, you have any team success or flag or memorable games? Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately not, Brad. We, uh, we struggled a little bit. I didn't actually uh, win too many games when I was here, but um, I did get the chance to, to play senior football, which was a, which was a huge rush um, back then, and got to play Cool and Gatto, and they were a super strong side in the competition. And, I played in the ruck against this absolute monster and it was a bit of an eye-opener playing senior football as a, a young 17-year-old and um, yeah, it frightened the daylights out of me. I remember winning one premiership here. Uh, I played up, a uh, up, a, up an age on that one. We played the under-14s grand final of the morning and then the under-16s in the afternoon and we lost the under-14s by no more than a kick, I don't reckon, and then we ended up pumping the... Um, the opposition in the under 16, so I won one grand final on this ground, which was um, something I'll hold, I'll hold close to me forever. Yeah, that was a great granny, that 16s. <laughs> Good to win. Yeah, it's definitely followed him closely since because, especially with um, Dane, spent so much time with him and his, his brother coaching here, and I've got kids that work uh, for his sister, so now I'm being a bit of a Lions fan. So, no, I followed their career quite closely. So, uh, any past uh, Surface Paradise players playing up in the AFL that you recall? Yeah, that was definitely one of the things I first noticed when I came, came to the club, the amount of photos that were up on the wall of those past players. Uh, the great Brisbane players and Bears players of Marcus Ashcroft and Maxi Kennedy and uh, Big Clark Keating. His brother Aaron was also up there, won a premiership uh, Adelaide. with Adelaide, yeah, and uh, and also Mark Warno, he was down at Geelong yeah. for a while. So, um, yeah, there's heaps of old stars there, and there's there's actually some current players as well, isn't there, Zorks? Yeah, there certainly is. Um, I was fortunate enough to play with Ricky Pettard, uh, Jesse White, and um, Brent Renouf. So we all played in the under 16s grand final that day, where we ended up winning. So. Um, it was a lucky draft that year mm. for Surface Paradise. Mm, it was, yeah. You get that one year, they all come through. So I've known you Tink since you started, and yeah. Tink was your nickname all the way through your time here at Surface. Why was that? It certainly was, and it probably still is a little bit now up at the Lions as well. A lot of people used to say it was because of Tinkerbell and being so little and everything like that, but I can put that to bed. It definitely wasn't because of that. Um, it was when I was a little, little child. My sister had a little bit of a list when she was growing up, and... For some reason, whenever she uh, seemed to pick me up or carry me or hold me, I either farted or <laughs> did a number two on her, and she would cry and nearly drop me and keep go running to mum. Oh, mummy, Dane stinks, he stinks, but he, she couldn't actually say the S, so it ended up being tink, tink, uh -huh. tink. And uh, she just kept saying it and saying it, and mum and dad thought, obviously, that's hilarious. Um, and believe it or not, it's just stuck with me ever since then. <laughs> is... So quite the story. <laughs> that, is, uh, that is quite the story there. <laughs> Dane, but no, I, I actually do think it's because he, he used to look like Tinkerbell. Um, he was the shortest kid in school and, uh, and he had this long blonde hair and he was uh, he definitely resembled Tinkerbell. So I'm, I'm sticking with that story. Yeah, right, right, right. So your time here, Dane, uh, what sort of player would you call yourself now during uh, those 250 games? I was a little angry man, I would have thought. Um, played in the midfield a lot. Um, loved going up to the uh, older grades and playing down forward and trying to kick a few goals, but I was definitely angry and maybe a little, 
abusive at times. <laughs> <laughs> he had that little spark about him. He was a very angry uh, little player, but he was tough and competitive. Um, competitive. <laughs> right, I hate to put words in my mouth. <laughs> Daniel, what do you consider the sort of player you were in your time here? Yeah, well, I think when I first started, I didn't didn't have a clue what I was doing. So I was probably running around with a like a headless chook a little bit. Um, and I do recall my first game where I got told to play centre half forward, and I was like, I wasn't really sure what position that was, <laughs> so um, or what part of the ground that was, because um, I, I actually started didn't start playing AFL to till under 18s. But um, but then I got pushed in the ruck, and I think that's where I blossomed. Um, I used my aggression and also uh, my height and my jump. And some of the conditions we've played in, I mean, it's not always always beautiful, is it? Um, there's been plenty of times there when, with the cricket pitch going in the middle of the oval, um, and you get a heavy storm, then that would turn into a bit of a mud pit, so that was always fun to play in. Although it is called Surface Paradise. Uh, <laughs> it's not always paradise, but um, it's a great ground to play at and very enjoyable. I definitely always keep an eye on how the service paradise are going you know, in the competition and I'd hoped one day to come back here and uh, play a bit of footy after my career, that's for sure. It was always open, mate. Yeah. No, that's on tape now. <laughs> <laughs>